What's up, guys? Welcome back for the next episode of Last Stand Aftermath. Let's continue. We were just trying to sneak around these boys. Ba, 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 ba. Bottle here. Got one of these. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing a buzzing. I think we've got a survival. Our survivor pack here. I can feel my controller r rumbling. Is it in here? No. Maybe it's down south. Oh, that guy sees me. There's the gas. Of course it's inside there. Ooh, that was loud. Maybe he didn't see me. Uh, maybe he did see me. Oh, everybody's coming this way. Oh, no. You didn't see anything. You see nothing. Okay, they see stuff. They see everything. Speed. Melee damage? Sure, why not? Let's do it. It'll be a little bit slower, but... We're gonna be laying people out with these punches, though. Chill. No. Those guys are all bad. All that armor. It's not very good. to see it. Okay. Just a uh, just a little bit, little bit of a lot of zombies. No big deal. Hey, you mind? Need some explosives. Explosives are nice. We can make some stuff with that. I'm gonna try and find this survivor cache. It's definitely not that. Hmm. M16, huh? Where is this thing? I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, what's this? I don't know what the- oh no, that's an antiviral. Yeah, give me that. Let's use it now. Extended mag for the pistol. I will allow it. Only 63 rounds for that, huh? 
Uh, we got 90 rounds for the M16. It's not too bad. Get rid of that. 556, 45, 9, and 762. Not terrible. I could probably start using some of these melee weapons. Ah, there it is. Okay, so they don't actually show up as a thing. You just have to find an invisible thing. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of little 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 bit of company here. Might even use the uh, M16, actually. Help if I reloaded it. <laughs> the little little guys, I don't have to worry too much about shooting. Most of those zombies are probably going to be heading for us. Ah, I can't carry any more. Feels like kind of a waste to not use this, though. We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll use the rest of that here. Eventually. using all these up, so that way we can use up some of the weight that we've accrued. Okay. Not too much here. Only four things to search. Free med kit, I'll take it. Get out of the way. Get out of the way! Oh, what am I doing for Thanksgiving? Oh, I'm not doing anything for Thanksgiving. It's going to be a really quiet night in. Nothing too spectacular. Let's start. Yeah, let's just go back to the Tauron. Got enough of this. It'd be nice to get a G17 now. Because I have the extra ammo. Um, everything else got searched, right? Yeah, everything else got searched. Let's drop this off. Yeah, no, I do I do enjoy the cooking. You're not wrong there. Um Go for this one. Sport shot rifle. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Alright, let's use that real quick. Lost about five minutes on that last usage, but seemed kind of silly not to get another one. And let's get out of here. Run! Okay, so, sport shot rifle. You 
You are 5-5-6 five, five, as well. You do 90 damage, 90 damage. Semi-auto. I do like semi-auto. You know what? Yeah. We've used the M16 enough. This hunting rifle. Don't know if I want to use it or not. Little carbine. Alright, to the next. Okay, supply cash. Oh, smoked turkey sounds really good, Hunter. Just smoke anything. Probably want to eat it. Probably want to put it all inside my mouth. And my stomach. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Where are we going? Family photos. Very nice. Diner. Really? Every time. Hmm. Shooting over some of these barriers is a little awkward sometimes. That's probably my one complaint for the game thus far. That sometimes when you try to shoot over barricades and stuff like that, it just doesn't work. If it were a 100% issue, then that's one thing. But it's not. guys gonna be trouble aren't you you are armored Yeah, this thing works out pretty well. It's better for saving ammo, too, in comparison to the M16. So that's not too bad. Still got a few things to scrounge through here. Oh, a brick! Lovely. How'd you know that's what I wanted for Christmas? Bottle. I don't think I need a bottle. We can definitely do this now. What with the sporting rifle, how much ammo we have, I think we'll be okay. Tactical reload intensifies. get the gun ready faster than that. Ah. I was really hoping I could. 
could have gotten that out first, but whatever. UMP-45 is tempting, let me tell you, but uh, I am just going to send the beacon for the rest of them. We're okay with what we've got right now, I don't need to get greedy. Crafting bench. What we got here? Still haven't really figured out how to use firearm parts yet. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make one real quick. Can we do anything with this? I don't think so. Unless it's like something you do in your regular crafting, but I can use improve the improvised. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You need to make these in order to make the improvised weapon parts that you can get through your knowledge gains. Ah. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm not a complete idiot. You guys, you guys all thought. You're like, this is Anne's guy. He doesn't understand. A oh, freaking hole in the ground to his own butt. Anyway, let's make a can bomb. Because why not? Make a bandage. Guess I'll make a spike board. Why not? Why do these have stars? Death Adder, that's just fixing weapon. Okay. So, let's grab something there. I don't have any attachments for that. I do have the suppressor. We'll put that on there for now. Alright. Let's go! Gear. Gear is useful. Ow. How did I not notice you? Just tunnel visioning over here. I have three grenades? When the hell did I pick up three grenades? our antiviral. Let's go ahead and use our next one. I think we're good. We don't have to super duper rely on the mutations. Not anymore. They're nice sometimes, but I think we've gotten to a point where our skill as badass gamers are kind of carrying us a little bit more than our skills. You guys know what I'm talking about. You all are badass gamers, too. Hey, there's a G17. We can actually fix that, too. I think we have some more metal scraps. Hey, you. You know, I don't know what the negative is to continuing to punch like that. Other than, I don't know, maybe you get a bigger exhaustion penalty if you uh, continue to attack like that. Maybe, maybe you just burn through more stamina. That's the, that's the guess I've got. Yes, that went pretty quickly, but a suppressor on a revolver? Yeah, I know, right, Hunter? I know. Doesn't it just like sicken you? <laughs> Thank you. 
Here, I'll, uh, I'll make you feel better. I'll, uh, put the suppressor on the, uh, the G17 <laughs> instead. <laughs> now that is an extended magazine. Holy crap. Why? 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 Though. Man, it's been a while since I've since I've bought a gun. I think I should buy a new gun. Like me personally, IRL. I should get that shotgun I wanted to get. I want to get a double barrel coach gun. All right, I think we can go. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's probably been uh, I don't know, a couple years. Since I bought a gun? Oh. Well, what happens if we don't have enough fuel? Science! Ah, oh, that feels better. Yeah, no. You're welcome, Hunter. I knew. I, I, I knew it. Ended up bothering you. So what are we gonna do? End up in the middle of bumfuck nowhere? Having to find fuel on the road. Maybe get through a tough section in order to earn our our progress. Yeah, we're just in the middle of a fucking road somewhere. It's cool, I guess. <laughs> Line them up, knock them down. Come on, game. Now I just want them to put in dual wielding. I want to dual wield my G17s. Know what I mean? Take your time. There's not anywhere good to get one right now, but Double Barrel Coach Gun is definitely the one uh, I have to have in the house. Yeah, I'd love to have one. Not even necessarily for house defense, although there are many people that uh, swear by the Coach Gun by for house defense, but... You know, it's an unnecessary hit to take. But, uh... Yeah, I just, I just want to have one. You know, it's kind of like my... Why I like revolvers, right? You end up using less ammo, like, especially when you go to the range. Because, well, you're just, like, you're just always counting the, uh... You're always counting your shells. You're always having to go through the reload process, so... It's kind of hard to not, uh, consider it. Oh, that's interesting. Our character's model is actually in the way of the flashlight. It's kind of cur Kind of curious. Ah, it's a specific thing with the G17. Maybe with just the suppressor on it? I don't know. A rifle's not getting in the way. Do we physically hold the G17 higher? No, it looks about the same. It's kind of interesting. All right, we don't need you. Don't need you. I don't even think we need the Toron anymore, to be completely honest. All right. Yeah. Once we, I think that's what I'm gonna do moving forward. Whenever I get a new gun that's of a caliber that I am currently using, um, I'll just, I'll just get rid of the old ones that are kind of surplus at that point. 
Let's heal real quick. Okay. Almost out of here. So, I mean, that's, that's good that if you do end up in a spicy situation where you uh, run out of fuel, you're not at least completely screwed. Buddy just picked up a 10-gauge goose gun, single-shot breakdown. It's absolute evil. 10-gauge, <laughs> huh? 10-gauge is fun. I haven't had too much experience with the 10-gauge. Shot, uh, you know, shot a fair amount of them, but they're pretty fun. 10-gauge is a fun, it's a fun caliber. You know, the only shotgun that I haven't really shot are like the, uh, you know, those little, those little shots, like the revolver-style handguns that are shotguns, like the 410s. I haven't shot one of those. I think most of the time they call them, like, governors and stuff like that. I haven't shot one of those, but, uh... I imagine they'd be fun. It's like if... If I'm a fan of... Oh, 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 excuse me. If I'm a fan of, uh... 44 caliber, then, uh... I think I could have some fun with that. You know? Hey, guys. What's up? Clear these guys out and do what we're gonna. Did a three shot challenge, and all of us would rather uh, beer than shoot it again. <laughs> really, man? I like 10 gauge. I know you're not recoil sensitive, come on. Oh, shotgun a beer, then shoot it again. Oh, I thought you guys had, like, a thing going where if uh, somebody lost a round, they had to pony up the beer. longer we're gonna last on this run I'm trying guys all right well, at least make sure that we're grabbing all this stuff You know what I would like to see is, I would like to see more incentive to not be encumbered other than the fact that you get the two times stamina usage. Maybe make it so that if you're over encumbered, you uh, take more infection damage over time. That would definitely make it so that I would prioritize inventory management. So as it is right now, there's just not too much of a reason to not. You know what I mean? kind of like, eh, whatever, if it happens, it happens. This two times stamina usage isn't really that big a deal. Especially later on. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Because, uh, most of the time you've got plenty of ammo to deal with almost anything you're gonna be running into. So. I don't know, just, uh, just, just one man's opinion. This 
especially once you get up to this point where you start to get some ammo drops and whatnot. What does the MRE do exactly? Just health 10? Okay. Uh, Hunter, trust me, we shot at a bunch. I'm awfully, uh, awfully glad he was paying for the shells. I think they were like two bucks each. Yeah, that doesn't sound too, uh, too far off from uh, how much 10 gauge shells would probably be. That's why I'd like a 12 gauge. It's, it's, uh, it's a fairly common round. Pretty easy to get uh, range shells for it and whatnot. that and if you ever really need any more power I mean you can get slugs and stuff like that it's one reason why I like shotguns they're just so versatile versatile quick something something what the hell was that quick arm something Ah, quick draw mag. Nice for an assault rifle. I am very okay with that. Actually, let's uh, put that on here and the muzzle brake. Too extended. Huh. There you go. 69 rounds. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's use the hunting rifle for a sec. Use the hunting rifle for a second. We don't have a whole lot of occasion for 762, but it's fine. Come on. Combat knife. What do you do? 45 damage? Sure, why not? Why not? Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just do this. Alright, whoever's left. Good. Okay, guess you just can't die. Uh, these are like number two shot and half or something like that. Two and a half. What the hell's two and a half? I feel like I should know what that is. Okay, I think we should start investing in some of these right now. At least a little bit, you know? Then, oh, we're one point off, huh? That sucks. Uh, we're gonna go for ammo. 5.56. Five, Decent amount of it, too. If we're lucky, we can find another infected blood on some of these guys. That would be lovely. One and a half high, oh, one and a half ounce uh, high brass. Oh, high brass. So good. Yeah, I don't care about you. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. Now we can start using the sport shot rifle again because 370 rounds. Yeah, I'm not even gonna be able to get through all these rounds by the time I end up dying. I mean, I could, but y you know what I mean. Right. Go to the campground. Just in time to end the episode. Right, well, 
that is going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and so on and so forth. If you're watching on the stream, stick around. I'm going to keep on playing.